Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have another big player review for you all. It is on the Summer Heat Zlatan Ibrahimovic, which you can get from Objectives. So this video will hopefully tell you whether it's worth to all, whether it's worth grinding towards this Latan Ibrahimovic. I think the objectives and the content that you have been doing lately have been fantastic. I've been really, really impressed with the content they've been dropping. And this Latan, I knew I had to get my hands on him. So big thank you to the sub who let me on his count to test out this card last night. And uh, yeah, you're in for a treat. If you enjoy Latan in this game, you are going to enjoy this player review, guys. If you enjoy this review, smash like down below. Subscribe for a lot more FIFA 20 content. We have Kubo review coming this afternoon, uh, the squad battles objective, so that should be a nice little one to test out as well. Let's just get into it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to show some highlights, as I say, from last night. The reviews are going to be a bit of a mixture of live reviews. Kubo will probably be a live review. This one will be um, just talking over the highlights because it just makes it easier when I play on the night to not do a live game. But Zlatan is 95 rated with 94 pace, 97 shooting, 90 passing, 94 dribbling, 41 defending and 97 physical. Insane, insane uh, stats. He's 6 foot 5, medium low work rate, right footed, 5 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot. It would have been absolutely amazing if they did boost his weak foot, but it is just one of them things. He doesn't have the 5 star weak foot, but he has some incredible stats elsewhere. 95 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. This guy feels quick in game. 99 attack positioning, 94 finishing. 99 shot power, 97 long shots, 97 volleys, 98 penalties. To be honest, I'm surprised he only has 94 finishing. If you think of some of the cards on the game which have 99 finishing, it's quite surprising. I even believe Kubo has 99 finishing, which is strange for him only to have 94 finishing. I think Zlatan, he's a striker. He's, you think that would be boosted up a lot more. 98 vision, 81 crossing, 91 free kick accuracy, 89 short pass, and 85 long pass, 93 curve. Really, really good. 86 agility, 47 balance. Now, this for me is where a lot of people will get stuck with a the card. They might think, oh, 47 balance, scrap that. I can't be using him. He doesn't have the balance. He doesn't conform to the meta of FIFA 20, which is Ben Yedder, Mertens, those type of small, agile strikers. To be honest, guys, you have to get used to using a card like this, but you'll see in the review why it's not such a big issue for me anyway. 98 reactions, 99 ball control, 99, 92 dribbling, 99 composure. Don't really care about the defending, but 99 heading accuracy is superb. 84 jumping, 73 stamina. Not ideal, no, it's not ideal considering that a lot of centre backs on this game will have amazing stamina throughout the game, but will be running at you all game long. Zlatan will get tired uh, towards the end of the game. 99 strength, 99 aggression. Brilliant. Traits wise, he has the flare trait and the outside of foot shot trait as well as the power header trait. So, really, really good. Um, I think the flare trait, it's just like Firmino, I don't know if Firmino has it, but Firmino, he's just fun in the game, Neymar for sure has it, outside the foot shot trait, best trait, probably to have in FIFA 20 as well, I'd say for a striker, because it's probably the most clinical shot type in FIFA 20, um, Zlatan can do the all though, can do the finesses, we'll talk about it more though in the highlights guys, as I say, these were taken from Division Rivals last night, let's get into it, and so here we go guys, into the highlights with Zlatan, and this is in the first game, to Stegen with a huge shift. To be honest, to Stegen is still the best goalkeeper in the game, so I can't be too mad at Zlatan for that. But I did expect him to score. I did expect him to score, and I'm going to get started with Zlatan scoring a lovely shot on the outside of his right foot. The ones you want to see with this card because they are just so, so clinical. Um, but some of the main pros for this card were obviously the shooting. Guys, the shooting was brilliant. Really just felt like he was very clinical. Obviously, there were some chances where I think he should score. And the 94 finishing surprised me. When I checked the stat afterwards, I didn't look at it before we used him. But looking at the 94 finishing, it's kind of understandable how he did miss these chances. Which sounds strange, but it's just one of those things. 94 finishing. 99 finishing. You're probably still missing them, but I expected him to score. I think Firmino set the tone yesterday with his incredible return. Zlatan, just a few chances which he did miss, but you can just see a lot of nice dribbles in the background. I tried to include a variety of clips from him missing chances, from him nice dribbles, passing, things like that. But the uh, another brilliant pro for me was the skill moves. To have a guy who is his height doing these skill moves felt really, really fun. And it takes you back to the team of the season, Zlatan. Um, if you use that card, if you like the five-star skill moves, you are going to enjoy this card. I think having the five-star skill moves, it's striker. Even when you have a guy that tall, it just means that you can do the... Um, 
elasticals, things like that, a bit quicker. And the, the Berber Spins, he does it fast. So you're able to create the space against some of the best defenders on the game because you need to have that speed. Look at that there. He should be scoring that. Really, really nice. Quick heel to heel. And unfortunately, Smeichel makes the save. But skill moves, shooting is just super about the card. You would see the near post power shots as well. He can score a variety of shots, but that one sums up Zlatan. Taking it on the volley, I think that you can score goals that you don't really expect to score in FIFA 20, which is fantastic. And that just leads to um, a fun element around this card. And the fun element is continued with the dribbling. As I say, five-star skill moves, but it's not only that. It's his little touches on the ball. It's the way he controls the ball when he has it. If you are a guy that likes to build up the play through your striker... You can pass it into him. You see that elastic or ball roll. It's all nice and smooth. We get unlucky with the uh, with the rainbow flick, but I'm sure someone better than me is able to score them on this game. Another one I would like to see him score, but it's unlucky really. Um, movement for this card, he only has um, medium low work rates, so for him, I feel like he's always in the right spot, which is really really good to see. He needs to have uh, them type of work rates, probably because his stamina isn't that great. I think that it works well, his positioning, spot on from the card as well, so I was very happy with his positioning. He felt like a card where he's not going to be running in behind. The tactics I did play on him, we played 4-4-2, and I told him to, look at that miss though, that's a crazy miss, told him to stay forwards, didn't tell him to get in behind, just stay forwards, and I think that did help the stamina overall, as you see him score an offside goal there, but yeah, it was just a nice little finish. His physicality in game though is superb. If you use strikers which have a bit of strength on them, not something I do normally, but you're able to kick the ball long term, he wins pretty much every header. Physicality is important from the standpoint of holding the ball up, but not only that, it's from corners as well. He's always the guy in the near post, and I didn't score a corner with him, play the corner uh, to him pretty much every time. He got his head to it pretty much every time, but just wasn't really able to score a header. In FIFA 20, I don't think headers are very common, but you can see their left foot shot. Nah, That's just, if you had the five star weak foot, that probably would have been on target. And um, the final two pros, guys, I would say he works hard. It was surprising. Look at that. He wins the ball there, um, and we do end up scoring. Ronaldinho into Zlatan. First time shot, and then a goal. He is one of them guys that, in the box, he's just fantastic. If you get the ball inside the box with this card, it's probably going to be a goal because you can manipulate the ball quickly with his fast feet and get it into a space where he can shoot. And he's able to just provide the goals. And speaking of goals, he did get nine goals in the five games that he did play with me. I think that record is a bit scuffed too because you had guys like leaving after the first half an hour, things like that, uh, in one game. So I won't take it too, um, too seriously, the record, but it's a nice return nonetheless, even so. And his passing, guys, his passing. I said the link up play was good, his passing was superb. I think that. We've used a lot of good uh, players lately with a fantastic passing. It's easy to notice when the passing isn't good. So Zlatan, don't worry, he's a very good passer on the ball. It's just one of them cards that you have to get used to. You just have to understand how he's going to operate in game. But look at that, the strength there. Unlucky with the finish against Lehman, but that Lehman was incredible. He's always got the right movement. Just look at him. Sancho down the wing. I don't actually think we score with him, but it, it just shows he's always in the right spot. He's We do actually score. Sorry, my bad. A double A pass into Zlatan, he scores. Inside the box, he is such a great finisher. But the downsides for me would have to be the 47 balance. 47 balance is sometimes a pain because you see sometimes he just looks like he's gonna fall over for um he's knocked off the knocked off the ball. Maybe he's not making it straight to the ball and he just finds it a bit difficult to sort of stay on his feet or he just looks a bit clumsy uh, i think that's the best way to describe him but i didn't feel like there was a massive hindrance i think i could take this guy into foot champs i think i could do really really well with him look at that i mean you can't do that with many players on this game so i have to give massive credit to this latan card really really enjoyable at the end of the day you'd probably say his body type isn't perfect for fifa 20 as well and his stamina his stamina just to check is 73 so 73 stamina in fifa 20 is not good enough if you come up against the likes of team of season uh, varan ramos things like that you will struggle to get past them in the latter stages of the game. But for a card in FIFA 20, for a Zlatan Ibrahimovic card, for the enjoyment, for the fun that it brings to the game, I definitely recommend you completing this objective. For overall rating, it's a tough one because I feel like for some people, this card is going to be really, really high uh, high rated. For others, it's not going to be their, their cup of tea, to be honest. But for me, I'm going to give him 
it, I think a 9.5. If we're rating Roberto Firmino as a 9.5, if we're rating Bruno Fernandes as a 9.5, Zlatan for me, I think I could do incredibly well with this card in Foot Champions. I will test him out in Foot Champions. Hopefully, we'll test him out through the uh, Foot Champions highlights, which I will release on Monday morning. But guys, hope you enjoyed this play review. If you did, smash like down below. Subscribe for a lot more FIFA 20 content. Let me know which objectives are you doing. Are you doing Bruno? Are you doing Kubo? Or are you doing Zlatan? Are you doing all of them? Let me know down in the comments. But that is me done for now. I'll see you all later.